여기 자, so, let me see what you guys got cook cooking up for me. Uh, not a lot of votes yet. I will pick at the final time of the timer. I'll show you the progress now. There we go. Uh, a ban. Let's remove Illidan. So the way my bot works is that I can choose between the top two. It's not the vote winner, it just gives me some flexibility. I'll let the time out. And it looks like I have to go with Jaina or Gazlo. From those I'll pick Jaina. start to vote I'm here to help I pick Jaina and you can already start to vote for the next hero this also realm needs me. this realm feeds me can you guys vote for a little bit better hero for me please than Jaina or Graslow you don't always have to give me the worst one. The crusade okay. calls. <laughs> oh, bands. Let's see. Mm, probably remove Rhaegar. How do we feel about that? Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Or Tassadar. Uh, I think we'll remove Rhaegar. Rexar is actually better than Jaina. A lot better, actually. Reckoning is at hand. I really like Tyrael Karazim together. Sonia, Rexar. Don't worry about me and my dog, Nina. Wow, so the Tassadar against Asmodan. Hmm. Serial not unlocked. The swarm endures. I think I might go frostbolt build. Really explosive comp, which is nice because we have Divine Palm Sanct to stop explosions. A lot will come down to the skill of Tyrael to use Sanctification to block Wailing Arrow and Grey Main Jump. 
they don't have a healer and two out of their four characters do not have a self-healing skill if I'm not counting Tassadar because he cannot die with double E and he has self-heal with double E so Valus can take life drain at 13 generally she doesn't but she can and I think she should Liming can take dominance but it's reliant on killing people Raymond has no self-heal Johanna has obviously has got some self-heal with laws of hope Deepon proc does not count as a death, Swagalina. How often per day do you do vote my hero? Oh, very haphazardly. Not really like a per day basis. Let's get going. Yitar shows me the path to uh, victory. I suppose. Let's see. I think I'll go Winter's Reach. Increased range. Sounds good. It's pretty big range. Wow. I'm thinking of taking this off of quick cast so that I can judge the range better because I'm kind of new to it. Tessera should not have enough like out heal potential. That's true. I don't need Tyrael to block the wave. So that uh, Osmo can uh, aim his Q and I can aim my Blizzard. God, their wave clear is fast! Keep it up. It's kind of weird having Q off of quick cast when the rest is on. Makes my W and E feel really sluggish. So I'll just use the global setting again. What? what? Nice. That's one of the best things about Karazin. He can join. <laughs> he can join the bot lane often to just give a few punches and finish someone off better than most other supports. Rhaegar is similar, but he can also jump out. Rhaegar cannot. On the way. Kirby, please play Taronda one time. I'm playing Hero Vote now, so vote for her if you want. <laughs> wow, we lost a lot of XP up here. I'll take care of it. Uh, Jaina is a good wave clearer. She's also good on Tomb for this reason. But she cannot fight well afterwards because she uses a 15 second cooldown spell and this is probably what hurts her most right now in the meta, the length of Blizzard cooldown. Wow. I go Frost Shard. Greetings, was friend. looking? Hey Zargi, thank you for the two months reset. Let's get going. It's funny, I didn't die and still have zero gems. Unusual on Tomb, but I am the ranged one. I don't know, Swagalina. rotate faster but we do get stacks so and we're not getting punished so this is kind of nice I 
I hate resorting to violence. Yeah, that's a pretty cool uh, range talent on uh, the Frostbolt. I don't use it a lot, but it's bigger than I thought. I do need to parse down a bit often. Because I don't have mana uh, talent. The most essential supports to learn for Hero League? I'd say Lily, since you have to ask. It means it you know, Lily has guaranteed value. Uh, of course it depends. I think Lily really is a valuable support to have for Hero League. Uh, whereas uh, Rhaegar is probably the best in general. And um, Uther can be quite key too sometimes with certain comps. You, you don't control what kind of drafts your teammates do. If they do go for Kerrigan, you can be like, oh uh, no, or you can get the one that belongs with it, which is uh, Uther. Best support with Kerrigan. Let's Depends if you want to empower her or not. So I'm going to go for Ice Lance. So good. Let's get going. Good I'm gonna go tap. As long as we keep stacking Asmodan, I have a pretty good feeling about this game. I've got a good feeling about this. <laughs> Jaina, I got a good feeling about this. Unintentionally I sometimes quote the game's characters because I'm a role player by heart. I don't have a boyfriend. I'll take her. I'm also a hetero. I need more mana for that. I will go out of mana a lot. On the way. Do you just de shield Kerrigan when she pops Maelstrom so she can get huge shields, or do you save it for her death? Use it immediately. You don't want her to lose any uptime of her Maelstrom whatsoever. I think Gary's dead. Sounds good. Would you like to have one? Nah. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my lordy! I'll take care of it. In a way, Sylvanas is a good counter to Asmodan because you can snowball the mid game if you're ahead. But she doesn't necessarily make it happen. Like it's our mistakes that makes it happen. So be it. I'll take care. Um, it's a pretty mobile team. Hard to land the Ring of Frost. Thinking water Ellie. I'll get water Ellie giggle then. I'll take care of it. Some value out of the water alley. It's a one for one and a possible follow up kill. Possible. Go for a ring follow up on Maul. That would have been decent, yeah. Why not the Globes as first talent? We are a poke con. Tassadar is a burst support who is, does not deal well with poke. So I go for poke. Yeah. 
enough. Wow, it's pretty stacked. Oh, I'm way too far forward. The potato positioning. Close. get here icy veins or icy barrier I'm going to pull back for now. I think I should go icy veins is it possible to get value out of ring, ring of frost without chaining it with heroes like Zeratul, ETC or Zagara Sounds it good. is but it would have to be on fairly immobile heroes It's a really long race, the Frostbolt. Quite cool. Oh no, did we let them pay? Sneaks. If you're sure, keep it up. Look at Tassadar, he's having trouble out healing everything. Pretty if nice to sure. push the Wet Weaver back a little bit. They still got a fort. I used the icy vents a little bit too late, I know. No combo with Maul. <laughs> well, I've got Water Alley. Yeah, I could still combo Blizzard Cone of Cold. Even that is a pretty good combo. Kirby let Osmo clean waves. I know, but he, he, he just used his Q. I did it like three seconds after I heard him use Q in it. Uh, numbing or Northern? I'll go numbing. We don't have that much CC. Let's get going. Focus upon this hero. Focusing uh, Johanna, priceless. Of 
I really thought I could get him. How foolish was I? <laughs> so stupid. But he was so low! Sounds good. I thought. Grebo must have 350 stacks or better. Yeah, they just let Asmo stack because they don't have a kind of team that can really. They don't have enough stunts, let's say. Whoa, 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 whoa. One out of five connection quality rating. Value Water Ellie. Water Ellie Giggle? Anyone? I've seen episode 6. Ah, the command is still old. I keep wanting to Hearthstone, I never get to. Back for now. Yes, I watch Game of Thrones, that's why there's a command for it. Do you like the Haka? I do like the Haka. Why don't you have a mod to update your commands for you? Uh, I have a few mods who can do it, but not a lot. This could be kind of abuse. Anyway, it doesn't really matter whether I saw episode 5 or 6, right? What? Force armor. I'll take care of it. I'll take care of it. Okay, that that was bad. The water elemental didn't actually tag it, so the numbing blast didn't work. Oh shit! Gonna jump on her. She decided not to use her way second wave. Did you see that? <laughs> nice. I was close with my guess. All right, let's try that again. Sounds interesting. Basically, when you have 400 with Asmodan, you do not need to farm anymore. You just dunk the opponent over and over. Let's see how you like this. I'll take care of it. They paid? Alright. Winter mute, ice block. Two and a half seconds. Arcane power. Let's go arcane power. Sounds 
Oh no. What's this great man doing there? Come on, bro. <sighs> Darn. Uh, I prefer Zagara on this map, GG Freaks. As crazy as it sounds, because Zul's awesome here, but I would take Zagara first. Simply because she works with slightly more teams, and the vision she produces is just incredible. Good thing you have ice block. Yeah, but I mean, if you meet Grey Main Solo, yeah, sure, ice block is gonna help you, but it should not happen in the first place. Why was I there? <laughs> I don't think we will lose a keep, but it is going to be close. And I don't know why we're pushing. We should have been defending. They can't pay, so that's kind of okay to go for boss. Terrible decision to attack there, though, but I guess I was part of that. Yeah, I don't have any defensive talents. We have uh, Divine Palm and Sanctification. And the chat voted me to go Jaina, so I want to show some damage. This Tassadar seems always at low life. Divine Palm and Sanctification Love team. Um, carried because we carried him through the early game. Cigar didn't take Muta, really? Hmm. I guess Groove Spines is not too bad. Connection quality here was actually fair. I had one one big spike. Cigar uh, took Groove Spines, which is good to focus the front line, but it's usually better to go Muta so you can put it on Sylvanas and Liming to greater effect. So that was, a, that was a decent game. Um, we basically we won the draft because they have solo Tassadar against Asmodan, which is a terrible idea. But that still doesn't mean that you will win because if you lose the early, you will lose. Asmodan doesn't come back from behind very well, um, especially if you can't stack the early. I went for the Q build because of Tassadar. Lo uh, poking a lot of times from a distance, Icy Veins, Arcane Power, Numbing Blast. I could go for the Vulnerability at 16, but generally speaking, I want to stay at a really big range because I have no defensive talents. So if I go for something that requires me to Code of Cold first, I feel like I could be at great risk. I would only go Vulnerability if I also have Ice Block. Yeah, I knew I would survive there. <laughs> Our teammate needs help. 